Okay, oh. this is Freya. Freya, do you want to introduce yourself? Say, hello. My name is Freya. <laughs> so Freya is a um, 14 year old girl with Rubenstein Taibbi syndrome and traits of autism and intellectual disability. Um, our main goals for Freya are to develop her communication um, through sign language, her learning more signs, um, pointing to symbols in her book, um, and to develop her proprioceptive abilities, um, which is her being able to feel where her body is in space. Some of the uh, autistic features means it's hard for her to sense her sensory system is a bit different, so she needs some therapies and um, uh, exercises that help her to feel where her body is in space and bring her sensory awareness to more uh, equal, like stable level. I'm not very good at explaining that sort of <laughs> stuff, but um, uh, her coordination also. So. Um, we work a lot on sensory activities, um, tactile, using tactile uh, activities like group, play-doh, clay, um, even playing in sand also is helpful. Uh, also to improve her toileting and self-care skills and help her to become more independent. So working with Freya, it's important to Keep in mind that you're there to prompt her through her uh, daily routine and activities and as much as possible encourage her to do things herself. Um, she will try to be lazy and get people to do the things for her like helping her get dressed that sort of thing but she can do things by herself it just takes a little bit longer and sometimes you do need to intervene and help like getting her socks on the right way, if she puts her shirt on the wrong way. Um, sometimes she does need some help to pull clothes on. She can't do up buttons yet. Um, most of her clothes are pull on and more elastic, so it's uh, easier for her. And, um, and things like brushing her hair, she needs some help with that. So it's that sort of hand over hand thing and then slowly taking away the, the help until she can do it by herself. Communication wise she is non-verbal so we use a combination of sign, basic sign language, um, used to be called Makaton and symbols so she has this little uh, book which has symbols and sections which I go through later and also this reference which we keep available for her and she can point to things that she wants or request food or activities. Okay this is Freya's communication book it's just able to fit in her bag it's uh we've lost a few so we this is the one we made recently. Um, basically <clears throat> you have the front page which has some short uh, quick sentences or phrases and then you'll see it goes through sections two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> and um, so to look for what they are, the sections. Uh, section two is opinions, section three is something's wrong, section four is about health and body, feelings, people, so just go to this back section to, it's like an index. Um, the main sections we use are activities, food and drink, and uh, house and garden and places, which is section <laughs> places. Um, cut that out, which is nine. <laughs> um, 
so yeah she basically can form sentences through for example here saying I want to go to the playground sometimes she'll just point to the symbol she wants um, so it's good to encourage her to go through the steps and say I want go playground or I want ball sometimes she'll just say like swimming um, and then she'll she uses this book and then we also have this version which is an earlier version but it has sometimes it's easier for her just to tear off a symbol and bring it to you and ask and point point to it come up and point like that sometimes she'll just sit there and point to something in the book instead of bringing it to you and telling you that she wants it so I just encourage her to say take it and show me what you want and get her to point to it so um, so this is a little bit similar but this is more some quick phrases um, some songs so if we're doing some singing she can choose point to which song she wants to sing feelings um, and then all different foods and then places and activities so for core vocabulary we have hi and by are the same me or I uh, mine um, you yes it's like this no it's like this I also say the word clearly and ask also encourage her to verbalize or uh, approximate the sound she doesn't she makes sound approximations so you speak slowly to her and say Freya you say what you want and if she's sort of trying to get there and try to help her make the sound for the word um, yeah because we have the symbols the sign and then also the vocal approximation uh, so yes and no and then what uh, where here there good like so they're sort of opinions uh, want so a lot of the things is uh, she says I want uh, iPad usually <laughs> um, and I encourage her to say can this is can I have instead of and then the the item or food um, because with want uh, you know the everything's really available and she it's not about whether she wants it it's more can she have it now and so if it's something I don't want her to have I say not now later or yes you can have it or no no Freya so she understands a lot of uh, what you say uh, it's just her expressive communication is uh, limited but she does understand most things that we say um, so I want more so I say do you want more Freya and she'll say she's still like approximates some of the signs because she her coordination isn't um, fantastic and then finished I say are you finished Freya and she'll say finished or more and then help is this so she might ask for help uh, doing something on her iPad or getting something uh, especially ice from the freezer she really likes ice so I try to limit her intake because otherwise she'll just keep eating it all day um, look or we'll see or we'll look for something and then now uh, go stop and wait a different so if I want her to stop I say stop 
and if I, we're waiting, I say waiting, Freya, um, come and then give, sit and stand up, drink, eat, or food, say do you want food or drink, she's, drink is sort of sometimes it's a bit like this but, uh, when she does it. Um, so shower, it's like this, and then bath, it's like this, or I say, come on, let's have a shower, wash your body, uh, and when doing her shower, I step her through parts of her body to wash, I help put the soap on the washer, and then say, wash your neck, and then go, wash, go through the body parts. Um, Toilet is this, so I say toilet Freya, and we toilet her every two hours. Um, she sometimes has accidents, sometimes she's good, so uh, we still just have that routine of every two hours, ask her to go to the toilet, and a lot of the time she'll say no, but it's because she's playing on her iPad and doesn't want to go. And then sometimes when she is on the toilet, she sits there and singing and gets distracted and sort of, yeah, you find that balance to, you know, keep going and not be sitting on the toilet half the day. <laughs> um, turn. So I say my turn or your turn if we're doing an activity. And then a lot of the time she asks for the phone and she'll say like, phone, um, as we try to say the word and the sign. But that's one of her favorite things. Um, so cooking, I'm gonna do cooking and sandwich. There are the signs for fruit, like biscuits, like this, cake and different foods, but we can do them in more detail later. Uh, work, so time for work, sorry like that. And then walk, we can go for a walk. TV, and then DVD. And then please, and thank you. happy and sad, uh, sorry, sad, happy and sad, uh, music and singing and later or after, after. Plane, motorbike, and car. And there's one for bike, but I need to find an adaptation because I can't even do it. <laughs> uh, and swimming. Some and all. So I say you can have some or you can have all. Cake and wet. You say, oh, your wet pants are wet. It's like squeezing something wet. And then this is party, party, party. She likes to DJ and Play on her iPad, so we can have party time. Party time. <laughs> uh, put and make. So if you want her to put something somewhere, or if we're going to make something, do an activity. 
and okay and tired so here tired and no I know and share is like like that Some of the activities that are good to help her coordination is to do handwriting, um, chalk activities. She, it's probably her least favorite thing to do and uh, sometimes she just flat out refuses to do anything but um, it's good. She needs to have some hand over hand and I still haven't figured out how exactly is the best way to motivate her to to do handwriting. Sometimes she'll draw circles with one hand and then the other hand. She doesn't really have a... she's probably more prefers her left hand but she can... she seems quite ambidextrous and um, we have like crayons, chalk, that sort of thing uh, and to practice making shapes and hold her grip on the pen or chalk or crayon. Um, then we have uh, brain gym exercises so in the morning when she wakes up the first thing you take her to the toilet and uh, she wears a diaper or nappy at night time so check usually change that and put uh, normal daytime pants on uh, which would either be undies or like a cloth pant which has uh, it's like a reusable diaper but they pull on and uh, then just wash her face, help her wash her face and brush her teeth and um, put on a fresh shirt or bra and then we do her brain gym activities. Yeah. So the other thing we try to incorporate with Fro's routine is um, music sound therapy which is a set of recordings which actually help to uh, change the frequencies inside, uh, help stretch the frequencies that the brain can hear and it uh, has different frequencies with the left and right side so it's really important which one goes on the left and which one goes on the right side. Um, so this is the headphones, they're marked right and left and then we have the iPod here so we just go into should I come forward? <laughs> mm -hmm. So we just go into, I think it's a playlist. Um, so week one. <laughs> so we have week one. So every day for one week, you do the same, the same uh, tracks, and basically just get through as many as she'll tolerate and then we press pause and then the next session we keep going so it's just a matter of putting the headphone in to the iPod and then I usually put this little lock on which stops her from playing around with the channels because she quite enjoys DJing and then put the headphones on her and then just press play and with the volume, it should be playing. Oh wait, I've locked it. <laughs> Press play. <laughs> and then the volume, you can just usually set it about there. Let's kick in. Hear that? So it's classical music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, just have to be careful with her. They're quite an expensive set of headphones and uh, that she doesn't rip off the foam. Um, ideally with the therapy, like it would be great for her to be wearing this and have this on when she's doing the brain gym exercises, but we haven't quite got to that stage yet. So we usually do it when she's laying down before bed and um, do some stretches with her or some uh, deep pressure muscle, like deep pressure massage, which helps calm her nervous system. 
We're gonna do some massage for ya. Massage! Come on! Looking. Good job. High five. <laughs> Alright, so we have four uh, massage techniques that we use on Freya. The first one is deep pressure massage. So it's basically just squeezing gently, like putting deep pressure on the muscles and the joints. Not too much pressure on the joints, but more on the muscles. So squeeze, more like a squeezing. Squeeze, 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 and then down the arms. Squeeze, squeeze. back the other way and then we do the percussion so you can either do that like this and we just do it on the the belly of the muscle so don't do it on the bone or on the front of the knee just on the jelly parts as it were so you can do like this and on the fronts you can do more like this it's like on off on off on off you can also do on the feet Good just to do one hand on off, or you can do on off. And then the and same on the arms. Mm. So this is very calming for her nervous system because she tends to get quite overstimulated. Same on the hands. <laughs> nice spray. And then the third one is like Chinese burn but it's not hard. It's just a gentle twist. Twist. So it's working on the nerves in the skin. So, yeah, it's just a, like you're doing a Chinese burn, but very gentle. So we do it on both sides of the body, but it's just a demonstration. And on the legs as well, you can do. And then the last one is uh, to do with feedback through the joints. So we go with mainly do the hands and the feet and the limbs going up to the shoulders so we start by pushing the joint together and then pull apart push <laughs> pull. <laughs> and then move up to the thumb push pull push pull so this also helps her feel where her body is in space push <laughs> <laughs> and it's the neural feedback to the brain from the extremities. Pull and up to the knuckle, push, pull, push, pull. And then when we've done all the fingers, then we do the wrist, push the hand into the ulna and pull and push, pull. Same with the elbow, push, pull, push, pull, and the shoulder, push, pull, push, pull. Not too hard. She's quite uh, hyperflexible, her joints, so do have to be gentle, but yeah.
do a we have a calf release this is a, actually part of Emmett technique so just bring your leg up there Frey so if you take three fingers and put behind the crease of the knee and then take the middle finger put in the center at the bottom of your three fingers and just it's not a hard move you just from the center just bring the hand around like that and then this and make nice this is to release the calf muscle and then from the crease of the knee same finger bring down through the center underneath the heel and out the middle toe and then you just do some stretch from the ankle stretch the foot up and then point also uh, pushing the ball of the foot, pushing that up, help stretch the calf. And then when you bring it down, just support the knee. Down, up, pushing the foot up, down, up, and down. And then the same on the other leg, so bring your knee up three fingers here and then the middle finger from the center just bring that around like that and then from the crease of the knee come straight down the middle of the calf around the heel and out the middle toe and then just flex, flexing and pointing the foot flex Point. Pointing. Flexing. Pointing. So yeah, this can be done when she has the headphones on and she's listening to the music therapy. So as you can see her, she's quite tight. And her legs. And then this one up. Stretch. And support behind the knee when you straighten it. Push. <laughs> and support behind the knee when you straighten. And then you can also do some rotation with the ankle. Nice one, Frey Frey. Oh. And then <clears throat> we also started doing a little bit of uh. massage on the head because she's <clears throat> her scalp is very <clears throat> sensitive. And she doesn't usually like it, but it's just good for desensitization. So we just do little gentle head massage around the back of the ears gently in the front of the head it's nice and gentle <clears throat> and then you can also with the earlobe just really gently Hold the earlobe and just pull it down slightly, like stretching the. You're actually stretching the membrane around the brain, because with a lot of autistic children, they've had like a really high temperature or fever, whether it's in utero or after birth, and um, that intense high temperature, I was told, um, tightens the membrane that covers the brain between the brain and the skull 
so doing this just helps to and that can be why the scalp is so sensitive so doing this just helps release that membrane when we first were doing this we had a lot of craniosacral therapy when she was younger and uh, yeah, she wouldn't ever even to have tolerated us touching her ears at all. But slowly, slowly, she's much more tolerant now. And I think she finds it a little bit relaxing, don't you? Yes. Yeah. And then you'll be ready for sleep, won't you? <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the first exercise, the swaying tree, is just going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. So we do that about ten, ten times, and then the next one we call catching a butterfly. So it's bringing the hands together at the back and together at the front, together at the back. Together at the front. Bing Frey or a hug. So we go backwards, hug, and then forwards, hug, backwards, hug, forwards, hug. And then we do the same thing but uh, touching each finger. We sing sa ta na ma. So going backwards, satanama, forward, satanama. So sometimes I'll, it helps to have two people and uh, but to get her to do this one first and just help her with each finger go through and say the sounds as well. Satanama. So it's just backwards. Satanama, Satanama. And then the next one is cupping the hands up top and then cupping the hands forward. These two go cross over and look at the back arm. You put the back arm. Right. So that's crossing the middle line of the body. And then a squatting one. Going around like a frog swimming in a pond. And then and then uh, this one. And here, and out, and together, out, and then exhaling, that's a squat, so, patting Mother Earth, inhaling, up, and exhaling, patting Mother Earth, so that's grounding and centering, and then we use uh, something like a chair for her to hold on to, and then uh, touching the opposite knee to the forehead, or well, touching each knee to the forehead, and we say kissing the knees. So, so that. And the other one. Okay. The elephant swing is crossing the hands and making a figure of eight shape. And then there's a variation which you bring the arm up. So start at the center and then bring out and watching to get her to watch the palm of the hand. In. 
the nose that's being down out and down out and down out and down and then also just straight out and down straight out and down the eagle or plane is just bending from left to right, um, keeping the arms on a diagonal plane and looking up at the top arm. And then the active warrior stance, so we start with the prayer position and then and that's all. This is also one exercise, just uh, breathing and listening to the heartbeat. So then, after that one, and stretching into warrior pose. So move the legs out, and then uh, put the arms out, and then bend the front knee, and looking at the front arm. And then the same, start here, and looking the other way. And just holding that for as long as she'll tolerate it. <laughs> the variation of the Qigong one. So it's twisting to the side, and bringing the arm in. Again, just into the side, coming down, just into the side, and, 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 and touch the forehead and bring the 